Hello AACPS staff. In this short video, we're going to learn the basics of using WeVideo. So this is just going to be how to get started, how to create projects, and how to change your mode in WeVideo. So as we're beginning, we're here on our ClassLink page, and all users will find the WeVideo app here on ClassLink. It'll be this blue icon with what looks like a little white arrow that points to the right. We're going to click on that, and it's going to launch WeVideo, our entirely online video creation and editing platform. And the best place to get started for the first time is by clicking on your projects tab. And then in the bottom right hand corner of our screen, we're going to select to create a new project. Now when you think of a project, I don't want you to think of it as an individual video. Think of your projects more as a folder that can house several videos. So I'm going to name this folder we video tutorials because that's what we'll be creating and then this one is going to be an individual project because I'm the only one completing these additional options are collaborative where multiple people would work on a single project together or shared where the teacher can create something and push it out to every individual but they all edit it by themselves so I'm gonna choose personal here and select next and then because I already have media added to my WeVideo account, it's asking me if I want to use any of my existing media. For this project, I'm not, so I'm going to select Next again. And then I'm ready to create my video in the new project folder that I just created. So I'm going to choose to start a blank edit and click Start. Now, the next step for you guys coming into WeVideo is to look at which mode of WeVideo you're currently working in. So right here at the bottom of my screen, I have a gray bar that runs horizontally. And on this gray bar, I have a, a small thumbnail called Title and one right next to it that says Drop Videos or Images Here. This is what WeVideo calls Storyboard Mode. If I come up and I click on my hamburger menu here in the upper left-hand corner, the option at the bottom says switch to timeline and timeline is the other mode when I switch to timeline the bottom portion of my screen changes now I have a line here to put video 2, a line to put video 1 and a line for audio now with timeline mode I can do more advanced more complex editing that involves layering video and audio for most of you if it's the first time you've ever used WeVideo when you enter you're going to be here in timeline timeline mode. So the first thing that you'll want to do is click on your hamburger menu and switch to storyboard mode. This is where we can do much simpler editing which is going to be great for creating instructional videos for teachers and students to use. So that's the end of our first video on using WeVideo. Check back for future videos on how to actually get your media into your video creation.